Welcome back to more Nightmare Troubadour, everybody. So in the last episode, I actually said that I was going to be going and grinding until nighttime, uh, just so that, you know, I can trigger that scene with Dogs and Serenity, apparently, apparently to um, progress the story. But uh, this actually happened. Uh, this is Roba, or Esperoba. I'm the Psychic Duelist Esperoba. By joining my spirit with the cosmos, I can mystically see all your cards. Do you want to test my powers? Sure. So... These new duelists, the second wave of duelists, I believe, start to show up once you uh, witness both of the first scenes, meaning the Yami Yugi scene at night, and then you see that email the next morning. Once you do that, I believe that that unlocks Esperoba, uh, Rex Raptor, Weevil Underwood, and Mako Tsunami. I'm pretty sure those four are unlocked. Not entirely sure, I might be wrong, but whatever. We'll have to see. Okay, um... Asilo Hero 2, aka Watt Kid. Um, so I'll start with Pot of Greed. Let's do that. Draw 2, okay. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and summon my strongest monster, Axe Raider, and just swing for an attack here to see if it works. Let's see. And. Seems like it will. Okay. Main phase 2, I shall set one of these negates, and this one. Yeah, so in this video, uh, more than likely we actually will maybe not um, progress the story with that nighttime cutscene, because if I can encounter enough duelists in the day, like new duelists, then it's just going to be me dueling all those opponents one time each. So, we'll see. We'll see. Hyrule's Shadow Scout. Okay, that's actually a really bad card because it's, it might force me to draw a bunch of up to three good cards. Spellbinding Circle and the Gate Attack. Oh my god. Yeah, I basically won this duel. Just gave me two more cards. Yeah, Hyrule's Shadow Scout has a float effect. Forces your opponent to draw three cards and any spell cards are sent to the graveyard. Traps or monsters do not go to the graveyard. Main Phase 2, I guess I can set... Um, one more of these? Sure, why not? Let's do that. End. Okay. Setting again. In that case, I'll just go ahead and keep summoning strong monsters. I'll summon Great White this time. Mm, I'll attack with Axe Raider. Big Eye. Big Eye has another flip effect. And the flip, it lets, um, it lets him see the top five cards in the deck and arrange them in any order that he wants. Wait, did not do it? What? Okay, whatever. Alright, so that's minus 16. And minus 18, as you can see. These decks are still pretty um, easy for me to take on, especially because my deck has actually been upgraded a fair amount now, compared to the very beginning of the game. Because this is actually an older title, um, there's not a wide variety of cards, so to be honest, one of the best decks to make in this one in this game is going to be a beatdown deck. It's that simple, you know? Um, I guess I'll summon Dream Clown, sure. And just to be safe, I will give this to um Giant Red Sea Snake. In case you have a 2000 defense monster, you know? Nope, just another big guy. Okay. Alright, well that was pretty simple. Pretty easy duel. Hopefully um, all the next new duelists are the next ones I see. Like, you know, I don't want to do any repetitive ones. I really hope that I encounter some more new people. Just so I can show them off, you know? Because I do want to do everybody like at least one time each on screen. Just so you can kind of see it in the way it's working. One thing I will say though is that regardless, you do have to reach level 8 before you can make it to the Beginner's Cup Finals. So even if I trigger that scene and then the next one, I'm going to be stuck and not going to be able to progress until I reach level 8. So there's actually a bit of grinding that goes behind it. I'm level 4, or level 4, but close to level 5, I mean. So that's pretty good. I lost. How can my psychic powers fail me? I don't know. I don't know, dude. Okay, I hope it's somebody new. Oh my god. Oh. Where are you at? the same person no that's wait no it is the same person dude i can't even 
Oh, I hate doing this, but I gotta do it. Shit. Oh, this sucks. I wanna, I wanna show off some, some new duelists, man. I really do. I guess one thing I could have done is go save, and then go somewhere, and if it's a repeated duelist, I'll just reset the game, maybe? Hmm. Maybe that's a strategy for the future, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Um, I will set this. Okay, there we go. Oh, you got your own pot of greed, huh? Okay. Senriai. What does that do? I forgot. It's such a bad card, I remember, but... Uh, you can pay one to look at one card on top of your opponent's deck. Okay. Wow. Um, I guess I'll summon... Great White. I'm gonna give it the Fairy Meteor Crush. Let's get that piercing going, you know? I shall flip my Wall of Illusion. Enter battle phase. And swing. Oh, okay, that's a nice piercing right there. That thing has how much defense? 1,000. Eh, only 600. Whatever. I suppose that's fine. Yeah, see, I think the effect is triggering, but they just kind of skip it for us so we don't have to see him, like, alter the cards because it'd be kind of hard to, like, portray that, I guess, in the game. I can kind of see that. I can kind of see it, yeah. Alright. I'm gonna pay 100 to see the top card in my deck. Ooh, the Fiend Mega Cyber. Okay. Really? He chose to attack that? Oh, because he can special summon it again, right? Wait, no, actually no, because now there's only one monster. Fiend Mega Cyber can be special summoned if you control no monsters, I believe, and your opponent controls at least two. Okay. Um. Well, this is actually kind of bad, so what I'm going to have to do here is summon another Wall of Illusion. That way I can try and bait you to, like, basically attack that thing again. Another Wall of Illusion, you know? Maybe. We'll have to see. There's a Watt Kid. A solo hero, too, is actually the to name, like I keep saying. But it got changed to Watt Kid. Okay, yeah, so this duel will take a little bit longer because he has Fiend Mega Cyber, so he can just keep bringing it out and basically destroy one of my monsters every single turn, but at least he does get bounced back. You also just keep paying 100 light points, so I guess that's fine. Alright, it's Fiend Mega Cyber again. Um. Should I just. I don't know, man. It's only 500 damage. I don't think it's nearly enough to be able to do a good amount of damage, unfortunately. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. Cyber Raider. Oh. What the heck? You can do that? Oh, I did not know that. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Chris, what's already nice? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. Let's see what I can draw here. Hmm. I guess I'll discard. I'll discard these that I probably don't need right now. Cyberator says, normal summon you can activate one, so like one equip uh, card equipped to one monster in the field and destroy it, or equip it to this card. Hmm. Well, in that case... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. <clears throat> so I am losing my Fairy Meteor Crush, though. From doing that. Okay, minus 300. And minus 16 more. That does put you down to 22. And I guess that's it. Alright, so um, if you're gonna go down to 21 after using the effect, then you're gonna destroy one of mine. Who are you destroying? Great White. Okay. I 
I suppose that's cool, that's fine. And you're probably gonna set a card, so I can just desert you for a thousand damage. Oh, what the hell? No, no, you didn't do anything else, what the hell? <clears throat> okay. This one says monsters cannot change your battle position. Yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, um... <clears throat> that does actually give me the game, because if I do that... That's fine. The Eye of Truth. Okay, so you take 500. Yeah, that's game. Because I can just summon this, use Share the Pain, and that's it. Okay. Share the Pain. See, that's why Share the Pain is actually okay right now. Um, I mean, obviously it's a minus one, so that's bad. But when you're really got when you really got nothing else, you know, you really have to stop and think about what options you can have <clears throat> for destroying potentially powerful opponents' monsters. And because really the only card I have that's consistent with that is Fissure, then I have to think about what other things I can do. You know, all right, there we go, level up. Nice, nice. Okay. <clears throat> so, what I'm going to have to do now, I'm going to go back and save. Because one thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that these episodes are being progressful, you know? So, I'm going to save this game here. And if I trigger any opponent that I've already faced, I'm just going to reset. I'm just going to do a quick reset until I trigger a new opponent. Just because, again, I, I want you all to see new content, not the same exact stuff. You know, so... What the fuck? Why is this green so big of a range, man? Oh, that's a new opponent. Nice. Okay. So that's Weevil Underwood. The former Japan champion. Oh my god. Well, here we go. Yeah, so... I, I know the three for sure that are unlocked right now are Esperoba, Rex Raptor, and Weevil Underwood. I don't know about Mako, but I want to say that that's true. Hmm, I might be wrong, but I could have sworn that that is the case. Okay, oh my god, I keep starting with Pot of Greed. That's amazing. Petite Moth. Are you serious, dude? DNA Surgery. Okay, so every monster in the field is an insect. Okay, obviously I'll start with Pot of Greed here. Okay. I'm going to set Magic Drain. I'm going to summon Rigress Lever. And swing for an attack. Alright, so it's minus 1300 already on the first turn. Pretty good for me. Why did you normal summon a Petite Moth on attack mode? With no protection. I mean, maybe it's because you did have the Queen of Evolution there. Possibly. Um, and that does take a whole, another whole turn. Oh, pot, everyone has Pot of Greed now. What the hell? I am going to Magic Drain that. You can negate it if, if you discard another spell card. Do it. No? That's okay. So I'm guessing you don't have any other spell cards. Giant Flea. What are you doing? Why did you normal summon that thing in the face of attack mode? Are you an idiot? Alright, summon Great White. <clears throat> it's minus 100 and minus 16, so you're taking 1,700 this turn. For a total of 3,000 light points lost already. Pretty good duel for me, because I also negated your pot of greed, which is amazing. It's amazing. Okay. Hmm, I guess he's not tough. I guess he's not a tough duelist at all. Alright, so I guess one thing I can do... Should I do Share the Pain here? I probably should, honestly. So I'm just going to summon one of these, I guess. I'll do Share the Pain. Just to be safe, because I still have a Fissure, so I'm fine. I'm actually fine, and I'd rather do this. In case he has, a, like, a Cocoon of Evolution. It was a Swarm of lo uh, lo or Scarabs. Okay. So this is another 32, which means next turn I should be able to win regardless. I mean, it'll suck though if I use Share the Pain on the wrong card, because what if he now sets a Cocoon of Evolution next turn? That's where it's going to be a problem, you know? Down to 18, okay, and the turn. Oh, 
What is- why is this guy such a dumbass? Oh my god. Like, what is his reasoning behind this? Activate Fissure. Um, I'll just summon the whip Toll Curl, I guess. Or get some action in here, you know? Alright, so that's another victory for me. These duelists are pretty easy. So I'm gonna go back and save again because I want to trigger new duelists, like I keep saying, so... Hoping that I can trigger those new... New duelists. 66 is what I get for, um... Your duelist bonus. Okay. Hmm. I don't like losing. I hate losing. I despise losing. Oh my god. Calm down. Alright, let's go back. Oh, it's almost nighttime, by the way. That, that's awesome. That is pretty damn awesome. Alright, let's come over here. Let's go ahead and save. Yes. And let's exit. Okay, um, over here. Someone's over here. Who's that? Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? Oh, an evening that happens to- this is Docs. What the hell? I don't know this could happen. Either way, though, I've already dueled this guy, like... Should I even show this? I mean, I, I don't know. Oh, well, if we tied, my bad. Do it again. Huh. I guess, okay, so I didn't know that, but shadow games can also happen during evening, not just night. Interesting. I had no clue. Alright, so you summon Versago, the destroyer. And set that. Enter battle phase. Yeah, I guess I'll duel this guy. I mean, why not, right? Because I think these guys, don't they give me, like, more? I get bonus points for doing these duels. I get a bonus 30. So, I kind of want that, you know? I kind of do want that. And I don't think this guy is particularly difficult. Okay, I also have a set car and just desserts. I don't know when I'm going to use that, though. Okay, battle phase. Um, swing. What is that? Another Versago? Okay. I guess that's fine. Fine by me. And then end the turn. Yeah, these are all actually... I, I don't know, so far the game hasn't been, like, as crazy difficult as I thought it was going to be. Um, like, this Let's Play was like, oh man, it's gonna, I'm going to be losing a lot, but I actually haven't. Like, that's really interesting, you know? Ooh, a giant rat, okay. You're going to special summon a bit here. Let's see what you got. What the heck? Why did you special summon a Labyrinth Wall? Why are these computers such idiots? I swear. Don't you have extra copies of Giant Rat? Why didn't you just do that and then summon Labyrinth Wall at the end so you can put it in defense mode in your, in your turn? But instead I basically attack you directly because that thing has zero attack. Yeah, I don't know. This is so strange. I like that these AIs are actually stupid because it just makes it a little bit easier. So yeah, I'll take it. Jirai Gumo, okay. Did you get it right or wrong? Um, I think you got it right. Yeah. <clears throat> I believe you did. Okay. It'd be awesome if I can get a Fairy Meteor Crush right now. I'm just saying. Do you know why? Because I'm gonna put that thing in defense with my block attack. See, that's why I keep block attack, because it actually can be useful. I'm gonna do this, though. Just to inflict some burn damage. Uh, then I'm going to... Well, I have to summon you. 
I'm gonna use block attack. To put it in defense mode. Enter battle phase and just swing for some attacks. There we go. And the last two, I don't know what your face down is, but you're not using it, so that's good for me. That's great for me. Alright, and that's victory. So because it's nighttime, there is actually a chance that I could trigger that scene. I just don't know if you have to like wait a couple a couple more days in total, maybe. I'm not really sure how it works, you know? I don't know. Regardless though, I should go back to my house. But now it's nighttime, as you can see. So now, it definitely is dangerous. Well, which is why I'm saving, of course, in case I do lose. But hey, there's also a chance that I could just trigger that one scene that I keep talking about. So, you know what? Let's see. Let's see if it works. Okay, anything? Oh, something over here. Oh. This is Bones? The name's Bones. My zombies will drag you six feet under. Okay. That's Duel. So I didn't know that Bones was actually somebody. Maybe he only appears at night. Maybe. Regardless though, I I'm glad that I'm showing off all these new opponents because um, it's just new content for all of you, you know, new stuff. As opposed to just dueling the same exact duelist over and over again. Red medicine? Oh my god. I'll take it. <clears throat> Dragon zombie. Three... F what in the world? Skull invitation. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start with graceful charity. What is that? What the fuck is that, dude? Okay, well... I should discard Restrict Revolution because you're not, it looks like you're not going to be using a hand in this duel. And, I mean, should I get rid of... I'll get rid of Paralyzing Potion. Oh, Jesus. That's not good for me. School of Votation says that each time a card is sent to the graveyard, inflict random points of damage to its owner's life points. Per card? Per card, Jesus, I, I need to be careful. And this thing, during the end phase of each turn, change the battle positions of all face-up monsters on the turn player's side of the field. Holy crap, okay. Well, I'm gonna summon Axe Raider first. Hopefully this attack works, let's see. Okay, it did work, so now you're taking 300 additional damage. 100 and 300, that's minus 400 for you. Okay. I'm gonna go into defense mode, which is a little bit... Ooh, man. Scary, because that means we have an interesting deck here. Um, but regardless, I'm gonna set these two. And end the turn. So, Axe Raider has 1100 defense. So... Curse of Fiend. <clears throat> what the heck? Wait. Why did you do that? Why did you activate Curse of Fiend? This might not be changed on the turn. You can activate this card only during your standby phase. I love it when AIs are dumbasses. This guy could have actually attacked me because I was in defense mode. You know? I mean, I would have still stopped the attack with Spellbinding Circle, but still, like, that's so strange. Oh, by the way, Axe Raider has 1150 defense, not 1100. Um, I'm gonna summon that, and I guess I'll use this. He's just gonna keep prompting, and quite, quite frankly, I'm not in the mood for that, so whatever. Oh, but I did take some extra burn damage there. That's fine. Alright, so just attack that. I mean, you are still losing some life points every time your defense mode monster gets sent to the graveyard, so that's fine. It just makes this duel a little bit slow, though. <laughs> because of all that. Oh, call the haunted. 
Well, that just makes it easier for me because now I actually know everything that you were hiding. Now you're going to lose two cards. That's minus 100 plus minus 600 more because that's two cards. Okay. There we go. That's two. So that's 600. Now you're down to 6,300. And I am going to end a turn. I basically got this dual lock. Yeah, I have a spell mining circle, so if you try to do something this turn, I can stop you. Nope. Okay. That's going to be it right there. I can just summon Great White. Put you all in attack mode. And then swing for a lot of damage. It's not actually game yet, but it's very close. I'm at 34, 34, so it'll actually be 1300 life points is what you're left with. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I also did just draw a trap hole. So I could do that too and just set that one. In fact, trap hole is just inherently better than spellbinding circle, so I'd rather destroy you. As opposed to making you stop attacking or whatever. Oh, what? That's it? Okay. That's it. All in attack mode, even though I really only had to put one in attack mode. Alright, and that's it right there. You win. Of course I win, because I'm that amazing. I don't know why I said that. So egotistical, man. That's crazy. Alright, so I got a couple minutes left. I lost. Yeah, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna go back home. Okay. Um, this is your house. Enter. Sure, I need to save again because, again, these freaking shadow duels, man. See, I wanted to buy cars in this episode, but because it's nighttime, that can be a problem since on my way to the card shop, I could actually run into some issues because it's night. So I'd rather not risk that. Okay, so I'm actually going to go to sleep here um, for the day or for the night. Uh, I actually ended up resetting five times and every time it would either be bones or I would run into docks through a shadow game. So I think there's nothing else that's unique at night right now. I think I do actually have to wait a few days. The new pack, which would be this one. This is Inherited Will. Okay, that's actually not bad right there. Um, in the first two packs I got this time, I ended up getting a Dancing Fairy and a Mechanical Chaser, which is actually a rare. Alright, we're trying again here to see if we can get some better stuff. It's actually real difficult. Another Dancing Fairy, that's technically fine. Acid Trap Hole, okay. Nothing yet worth keeping because it's only a regular common Dancing Fairy. I have not gotten a single Lajan, even though it's a common. I don't know why, but it's like that's a short print. It's like the game knows that that's one card you are desperately looking for. I also have not gotten both Mirror Forest or Penguin Soldier, which is real bad. Those are two of the best ones. They're both super rares. There's the Mirror Forest. Okay, so that's actually... Um, I can only buy two more after this. Hmm. So, it's cool that I got the Mirror Forest. I think it's worth it in that case because it is a difficult card to get. Okay, you know what? I got Malevolent Nuzzler, Shining Abyss, and Horn of Heaven. Um, I suppose I could make that work. It's a little unfortunate that I got no Penguin Soldier. That does actually suck pretty badly. But you know what? I have to take what I can get, you know? I got a Mechanical Chaser, so that's one beatdown monster. And I got two Dancing Fairies, which are 1700 attackers, and that effect is not bad. It's not a negative effect, so it counts as a beat stick. I mean, the effect is pretty much near useless, but whatever. And I got a Shining Abyss. Great White? Don't I, do I already have three Great Whites? Uh, no, I... 
Wait. Hold on. Swords is by attack. There we go. Okay, so I don't know why I still had that shit, but I don't know. We'll have to see what happens here. Um, So I added a mechanical chaser, shining abyss, and then so I have 44. So I have to get rid of four beatdown monsters, which are basically the three Baron of the Fiend swords. And my next week is, you know what? I haven't even been using Mystic Wolf at all for that, for his purpose. So I'm going to get rid of that, I suppose. Um, Okay. So I guess that's better in that case. There we go. I got some decent upgrades. And then for spells and traps, I ended up getting, um, what I get that was good. Nothing there. Horn of Heaven might be useful for now. It's not that great. Okay, Malevolent Nuzzler, obviously Mirror Force. And was there one more? Nothing there. Nope, that was it. Okay, so I got three cards. Malevolent Nuzzler is just an overall better sort of deep-seated. Much better power card version of it, so I'm going to get rid of that. Then I got a Mirror Force, a good trap card, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of my worst trap card. Trap hole, trap hole. I guess Spellbinding Circle? Negate Attack is also not that useful, but... I'll get rid of the gate attack, but I think that one's going to be inherently worse. And then for spells I put... Well, what, what else did I put? No, I put Horn of Heaven, my bad. Horn of Heaven and that, so... Isn't Horn of Heaven better than Spellbinding Circle? I would imagine so. Actually, I might not even need Horn of Heaven then. Crap. You know what? I'll get rid of Just Desserts. I don't really need that. Alright, that's it. So, it's a definitely an upgrade. As you can see, I got rid of a bunch of weaker monsters and spells and stuff, so... My deck is slowly but surely improving. That's definitely good. I'm gonna end it here. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.